Wow, spring is starting to come to Minnesota. I still have a lot of snow in the backyard, but it's starting to disappear. I am excited to be done with winter. But that's not what this video is about. Today, I'm gonna go back into my sketchbook. I have a couple paintings in there. Uh, one of them I really like, and I want to do something a little bit more formal with it, but still not too formal. I wanna see if I can use that as a reference. I might fail, I might not. The original painting, was a painting I did of an artist friend of mine. I snagged a photo off of his uh, Instagram and uh, did a quick little painting in the sketchbook. Uh, I think I did that one in way back in uh, 2018. And I really like this thing, um, but I don't want to cut it out of the, the uh, sketchbook, as it were. So I want to do it but kind of do it in my Hipster King series format and put that right onto uh, one of those coaster paintings that I do also. Uh, it'd be great if you go check out some of those other videos. Uh, it's, they're a lot of fun and very informative, um, I think, anyway. So why don't we go inside, get the paints out, and... Uh, Let's see what I can do. See if I fail or see if I succeed. Who knows? All right, see you later. Welcome into the studio here. Artist Doug Pexa. I know I forgot to say that in the beginning. Let's see what we can do with amusing dropping everything. I am using this as my reference today. Artist Pete Hawking. He's a great guy and I'll talk more about him in a little bit. This is what I'm using for reference from a photo of his from his Instagram account. Can I do one as good as this? We'll see. Let's look down and I'll start painting. All right, let's get going. First off, just wanna mention that starting out paintings, I usually draw just in paint, whatever, whatever's on the palette. Uh, a lot of times it's blue that I sketch out. Um, I also usually use leftover paint to kind of get a ground on the painting. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that already. Um, start blocking things out, and then I just keep building up layers, uh, wet on wet, usually. Uh, sometimes I have to walk away from the uh, painting uh, and come back, uh, especially bigger ones. But these coaster paintings, these hipster kings, I uh, usually do in uh, one fell swoop. Uh, sometimes two, not very often. Uh, bigger paintings again, you know, I've got one on the wall that has been sitting there for three years and I just haven't gotten back to finish it. I'm just kind of fighting it. That's natural. So, this painting here is of Pete Hawking. He's an art educator uh, out east. Uh, he's the dean over at Brown University. Uh, he also teaches over at Goddard in Vermont, um, a very intensive program. I thought about going there for master work, but uh, alas, it never happened. Um, and I think he also teaches or taught over at RISD. I uh, can't be certain of that one. But his current body of work, I just kind of want to talk about him because I really respect him. He's, he's an inspiration to me. Um, he does 
these beautiful, beautiful landscape paintings, very much in a uh, Robert Diebenkorn painterly way. Uh, very beautiful colors, very lovely paintings. He shows over at the 411 gallery, I want to say. If that's not right, I will uh, make sure I put a link below to both the gallery he uh, shows at often and um, uh, to his Instagram because he does some really cool conceptual things. Um, he's obsessed with uh, self-portraits and he did a lot of when I first met him he was doing a lot of self-portraits whether they were single or double self-portraits um, they were these beautiful storytelling portraits um, you have to see them uh, check them out definitely go to his Instagram but he also does a lot of the ph photographs for the paintings he works on or at least they influence his paintings um, the decay urban decay kind of um, beach decay natural roads breaking up just cool just go 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 see him after the after you finish watching this though um, but yeah his portraits he does he's been doing a self-portrait for I don't know I don't know how long. Every day for probably 10, 15 years now. Pete, comment below if you watch this. But it's been a long time. I did that same thing, inspired by him. I made it five years and then I had a hiccup and some drama in my life that I just kind of stopped doing it. Hell, that was before the term selfie was even invented. Can you imagine that? Um, but yeah, this painting, just inspired by a photograph, then inspired by, by the painting that I did prior in the sketchbook. I think it's turning out pretty well and um, I just keep wanting to go back in and adding adding all these fun little details. The spiral of the hat that kind of looks like a halo. Um, and Pete as a as a hipster king. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a hipster king before hipsters were even around because you know he loves the big beard. He had long hair at one time. Um, two, um, he had his head shaved. You can definitely see the progression of his life through his self-portraits. It's a great, great thing. Do you gotta apologize? I, I did get really into this painting and you can't see the whole thing as I'm painting it, but you know, when you're in the zone, sometimes that just happens. So there you have it. Let's take a final look here. I'm pretty happy about it. I don't know about you, but I feel like that came off pretty good. Pete Hawking, as a hipster king. It's a bit different, as I mentioned before, but I like it. I should do actually a formal big uh, painting of that, taking, taking something like that and really expanding on it. Oil canvas, acrylic canvas, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but if you like this video, uh, don't worry about doing the like, comment, or what have you, or subscribing. You don't have to do that. It'd be nice, it helps me out. But, if you like this content, why don't you watch, say, one of my morale paintings, uh, morale mushroom paintings. It's cool. There are other informative videos too. Watch those. I'd love, love 
for you to do that. But I'm just happy you spent a little time with me today watching me paint and seeing if I succeeded. I hope you stick around and enjoy upcoming videos. Bye.